welcome. Today's class is uh, designed for tennis players. That doesn't mean it doesn't apply to everybody. It's a nice release if you do any kind of uh, slightly similar sports to tennis, this is great. But also if you don't, it's a nice uh, release of the body uh, for everybody. So you're going to come to a nice, comfortable seat. Sit up nice and tall. Close your eyes. And just focus on your breath. Start breathing through your nose. Feel that softening of the belly, expansion and contraction. And then blink your eyes open. You're going to take your arms out in front. You're going to make fists and start circling your wrists. Try and keep your forearms as still as possible so all the movement is happening in your wrists. And change direction. Shake it out. And then I want you to, again, make a fist with your right hand. And you're going to lift it up. So you, I want you to hug your elbow to the side. In fact, it might actually be better that you come onto your, sitting onto your heels like this in a little hero's pose. That's easier. So lift, lift your arm up. Make a fist. The uh, palm face facing down. And you're going to keep this elbow tucked to your side and you're going to open it up as you take it down. So see now the uh, underneath of the forearm is out. And then you're going to come up and fold down and open and back, open and back. And you keep that elbow tucked to your rib, uh, to your rib cage. So all this movement is happening in your elbow joint. You're going to take a few more and move over to the other side. Again, tuck the elbow into the side, make a fist, and then open up as you take it down and up and down and up. Keep going. So just isolating the movement to the elbow joint here. few more. And release. All right. You're going to find this little spot here. So you got this muscle right here on your forearm. And I want you to take three fingers. I want you to press. It's kind of right here. And you're gonna, you might have to like look around a little bit. It's kind of, there's some tendons right there. And you'll know when you found a spot because it's gonna go, ow. So you're just gonna move around. It's kind of in between a couple of muscles. And once you find the spot, I just want you to hold your fingers there. And it's probably gonna be intense. And you'll most definitely know when you found it. I'm yet to meet somebody who didn't have a reaction. <laughs> and then release, and you're gonna move over to the other side. 
And again, it's right kind of here. You're just going to dig your fingers in. You might have to look around for it a bit. We all have slightly different arms, so. <laughs> and there it is. Once you find the spot, you're just going to hold your fingers there, keep the pressure on. A little bit of myofascial release. And release, shake it out. All right, I want you to come to onto all four. Turn your right palm over, so palm is facing up, fingertips is facing back. See if you can externally rotate the arm so the tip of the elbow goes back. If that's too intense, don't worry about it. It's just an aim. And then place the knee on top of your palm. And you're just gonna move it around until you find that spot that needs some release. And that's a polite way of saying hurts like hell. And you're going to hold it there. And move the knee, shake it out. Other side. Again, see if you can externally rotate the arm. Move your knee around. And move the knee, shake it out. I want you to place your right forearm down on the mat and I want the, the bottom of the forearm and the palm to face up. And what you're going to do, you're going to place one knee on that forearm and the other. And you're still supporting yourself with your toes on the ground. And then can you make a fist and open, fist and open, fist, and open, one more, fist, and open. And then I want you to start leaning your weight into your forearms, maybe lifting one foot off the ground, maybe followed by the other. And come back down. Move the knee. Ooh, shake it out. I feel all that blood coming back into the arm. It feels great, doesn't it? <laughs> Once we're off. Other side. Place the left arm down. Place your knees on the forearm. And make a fist. And open. Fist. And open. Fist. Open. Fist. And open. One more. Fist and open and then lean forward maybe lift one foot off the mat maybe the other Oop. and release shake it out all right come on to all four and take a couple of cat cow Just follow your own breath, get that movement into your body. Add whatever needs to be added. And then 
I want you to lift your right knee out to the side like a dog peeing up against the fire hydrant. And then start circling that knee and slow the movement down. Nice and slow so you can make the movement bigger. So focus on the movement being as big as possible. It also makes it a little bit harder. Change direction, go the other way. to center, left knee out to the side, big circle. Change direction, go the other way. And come to center. Then I want you to take your right hand and I want you to take it to the back of your head and then open up to the right side and you're going to straighten that right arm out and then bend the elbow, roll in. And open, straighten the arm, bend, roll in. One more. Open, straighten, bend, roll in. And this time take the right hand, thread the needle, come all the way down. Walk those left fingertips forward. And come back to center. Take your left hand to the back of your head. Open up. Straighten the arm. Bend. Curl in. Open. Straighten. Bend. Curl in. One more. Well, and then this time take the arm through, thread the needle. Back to center. And take another couple of cat cows, just releasing. And then tuck your toes, lift your hips up and back, keep your knees bent, get some length going through your spine. And then slowly roll forward, vertebra by vertebra, coming in towards a plank pose, and then lower your hips, open up your chest. 
Roll back. And take one more. And come back. And come into a plank pose. Lower down onto your belly. And you're going to interlace your hands behind you. Reach your hands down towards your heels and lift up into a locust. And release. Take your right arm out to the side. Bend the elbow 90 degrees. It kind of comes into a cactus arm. And then take your right cheek to the ground. Press away with your left hand. Rolling into a pec minor stretch. So remember, your head is on the ground. I often see people lifting like this. Don't do that. Minus this little muscle sitting in the front of your chest. It often gets short and tight. So just opening that up. Come back to center. Other side. Left hand out to the side. Bend the elbow 90 degrees. Left cheek to the ground. Roll over. And come back to center. Hands by your chest. Lift up into a cobra. And lower back down. Tuck your toes. Lift up into a plank pose. Come into a downward facing dog. Inhale, lift your right leg up. Step your right foot forward, lower your back knee down, come into a lunge, reach your arms up, and go a little deeper into that lunge, you get a nice little stretch coming into that left hip flexor. Come back up, and I want you to pivot your lower leg out to the side, coming into a pirate, pirate's pose, as I like to call it. Think Captain Morgan, R. Place your right hand or right forearm on your right thigh. Take your left hand to the back of your head and then sink in to your front leg. And I want you to curl in and open. Curl in and open. Curl in. And open. Come back to center. Straighten your front leg. Come into a half split. Flex that right foot. And then what I want you to do, I want you to put a little bend in your, your right knee. And then gently twist the ankles. You're lengthening the outside of that ankle. And at the same time, keep flexing the foot. So you're pulling your big toe towards you. It's a weird awkward pose. And with that, I want you to start 
exploring a little bending and straightening of that knee. It doesn't, it's okay if it doesn't go completely straight, it's fine. It's just addressing the sciatic nerve, a little bit of nerve flossing. And bend the front knee, come into a lizard pose. Your variation, remember, it doesn't have to be stagnant. Maybe you're on your hands, maybe your forearms. A little bit of movement feels good, I think, but it's completely up to you. back up. Step back to plank pose. Vinyasa. Inhale, lift your left leg up. Step forward, lower that back knee down to the ground, come into your lunge. And again, you're going to go a little deeper. And come back up. You're going to pivot that lower leg out to the side. Come into your pirate's pose. Take your left forearm to the mat, right, or not to the mat, to your thigh. Your right hand to the back of your head. And go deeper into the lunge. And curl in and open, curl in and open, curl in and open, in and open. Come back to center, half split. And again, you're going to put a little bend in that front knee. Gently twist the ankle, pull your big toe towards you. So keep flexing the foot. And then start a little exploration by bending and straightening the knee. Bend the front knee and come into your lizard pose. It doesn't have to be exactly what it was on the first side. Play it by ear. Feel what's going on in your body and what you need on this side. Come back up, step back to plank pose, move through your vinyasa. And then get up on your tippy toes, lower your knees down to the mat, cross your shins, come to seated, and you're gonna come into a 90-90. So right, Leg out in front, right thigh straight out ahead, 90 degree bend to your knee. 
left thigh straight out to the side, 90 degree bend on your knee. Fingertips to the mat, sit up nice and tall. And you're gonna gently circle. Change direction, go the other way. And come to center. If you can, take your hands to your heart, otherwise keep supporting yourself. And I want you to press the inside of that back foot into the mat, lift the back knee and lower and lift and lower, lift and lower, lift and lower. Press the inside of that back knee into the mat, internal rotation of your thigh, try lift the lower leg up. It's okay if it's not actually lifting today. Just engage the muscles. I know this is intense. And again, lift and lower and lift and lower. Let that marinate, let it loosen up. You might feel a little bit of crampiness in this outer hip. Give it a little rub down. And then come on to the other side. And again, 90 degrees, 90 degrees, fingertips to the mat. Circle your torso. And hands to your heart. Lift the back knee and lower, and lift, and lower, lift, and lower. Press the inside of the knee into the mat, internal rotation, try lift that lower leg, might not lift, that's okay. It's all about the muscle engagement here. And lower, and lift, and lower, and lift and lower. And again, take a minute just to let it marinate. And take your legs out in front. And what you're going to do, you're going to take your right leg and cross it over your left and you're trying to stack the knees. If that's not quite succeeding, that's fine. If you're more like this, it's all good. It's all an aim. Sit up nice and tall, try and ground both of your sit bones. And if you can, move into a forward fold. Come back up, other side. Again, sit up nice and tall. And if it's right for you, take a fold.
come back up. And make your way all the way down onto your back. Knees bent, feet flat on the ground. And I want you to press up into a bridge pose. Squeeze the butt. Use your hamstrings. Lift, lift, lift. And lower back down. And take your arms out to the sides and let both your legs come over to one side. Recline, twist. to center, other side. And come back to center. Find your Shavasana. Relax your body. Relax your breath. And as always, stay as long as you need. Thank you for practicing with me today. Namaste.